At Mayo Clinic, we see a wide range of patients with spinal issues. Not all of these spinal issues are surgical in nature. The reason behind doing minimally invasive surgery is because it disrupts the tissue as little as possible. Our goal is to treat every patient that we can with non-operative care first. This includes physical therapy, evaluation by an interventional pain specialist. If you've been through an evaluation, you've done therapy, you've had some injections done to your spine, maybe you saw a chiropractor or an acupuncturist, and none of those are really working for you anymore, that's when seeing a surgeon who may offer this option to you is a good idea. With minimally invasive surgery, patients are generally happier. Because they tend to recover faster, we can get patients back to work within two to three weeks. Minimally invasive surgery in general is a field within surgery where the emphasis is on disrupting tissue as little as possible. So with relation to spine surgery, there's a lot of upfront benefits. There are smaller incisions, less pain, shorter stays in the hospital, if any, and less narcotic utilization after surgery. Patients wanna get back to life. They wanna get back to moving. There is no area in spine surgery that is more dependent on technology than minimally invasive surgery. We use everything from advanced neuromonitoring to image guidance to the most recent implant technology to obtain a good result. At Mayo Clinic, we're using some of the most advanced 3D technology that's out there to build models and plan the surgery itself so that once we're in the room, we can execute it flawlessly. A lot of times these are part of our preoperative discussion with patients, but after surgery, we also try to transition patients quickly into physical therapy to help speed up their recovery. At Mayo Clinic, we see a large volume of patients. The large volume of patients translates into significant experience. Overall, we evaluate every patient individually to see if a patient is a good candidate. Truly, minimally invasive surgery is really changing how we do spinal surgery. Whether that's neck surgery or low back surgery, the technology, both in terms of what's implanted, in terms of how it's done, how the patients are taken care of after surgery, that's really changing. And I want to give the patients the best opportunity to do well with the least amount of invasiveness. Every patient is someone's relative. They're someone's mother, father, child. So it's important to treat them the same way you would treat your own.